Well, it's happened again. Another junk car has arrived. A 1993 Oldsmobile 88. Yeah, uh, not the most detailed dashboard. Apparently you could get a digital one with these as an option. And ignore the mileage. That's definitely wrong. The odometer, as far as I understand, stopped working in this thing a long time ago, so it is most certainly not 168,000 miles. It's probably well over 300,000, considering how long this car has been around. And it is very much just a tired old car, but that's nothing new around here anymore. But it's not that bad of a car. Of course, it's General Motors in the early 90s, so still not the best, but better than what's... Uh, Better than some of the stuff that came before it. I mean, this this poor old car, it got rear-ended in a hit-and-run. So, yeah, the trunk is a bit difficult to close. But the trunk still closes, at least. But at least the car also has a good-sized trunk and a good-sized interior. I mean, I think this was a full-size car back in its day. And it, I mean, it has enough legroom. Seats are not the most supportive. But it's not the worst thing you could be stuck in. See, we also have a trunk release button, and a, uh, well, a radio that works. So that's all there really is to be said about that. Although it is funny, because if you understand, or if you've worked with GM products of this era, this turn signal stock should look familiar. Because just like that, we're in the Suburban. This thing's been sitting a while, so ignore the clicking. Although this car does also have, as another interesting feature is these uh, hidden head, or, not headlights, hidden wipers. They come up, they do their job, and when they're done, they hide away. Which is kind of neat. I don't see that on cars often. And now for the best part of this car. The ever-present Buick 3800 series V6. And this is probably the one part of the car that will keep going and going and going. And this is the one part, or not really single part, I'd want to take the whole engine out if we ever decide to dispose of this, because there's no way somebody's going to buy it. So when we send it to scrap, I want the engine out of it. It'd be a great engine swap for something like a Volvo 700 series. And that V6 isn't all that bad. I mean, it has enough pull. It's not a fast car, but it's got enough pull. It sounds all right. There is a bit of an exhaust leak, and I'm not sure what's squeaking now, but oh, wrong pedal. Not that bad, huh? Again, not the best car, and probably not the worst thing to be stuck with. But it, hey, at least it runs, and it'll probably keep running for a while. Of course, my younger brother's not so happy that uh, we're giving him this and disposing of the Suburban, so... <laughs> but, at least you can actually work on it, because the windscreen doesn't cover half the engine, so that's nice. Another thing that I find fascinating is the fact that these red side markers light up. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's an okay car. Of course, I'll probably be the one who works on it, so... Yay for being the family fleet mechanic, I guess. At least I enjoy doing that kind of work.